Hi everyone, welcome back with another video. First of all, thank you so much for all your appreciation for my previous dinner vlog. Many of you had tried some recipes and sent me the feedback already. If you haven't yet tried, do try out the recipes and thank you to whoever had tried. Now today's video was taken on a weekend that includes my mom's fish curry using a sour fruit called hog plump. We call it ambarna, which I found while shopping at Lulu. Hope you would like it. Keep watching. Now for breakfast, we decided to have together with friends at Saravana Bhavan and that's inside the Lulu building in Murabba, not the usual one that I go in Kureis in Riyadh. This is Shani whose butter chicken I had made on my previous video. After breakfast I had some shopping. I went over to the grocery section and my eyes just stopped on this. That's the hog plum. I hadn't seen it elsewhere in Riyadh and when I checked with them they said it's available only in Lulu. So this is why I shop at Lulu most of the time because some items I need to come here. It's actually from Sri Lanka and it looks a bit different from the ones grown in Kerala. During my childhood, I had seen my grandmother preparing delicious fish curry using this fruit instead of tamarind because it's a sour fruit. Now to make fish curry, I didn't have any fish at home, so I quickly went over to the fish section and bought some mackerel and wanted grated coconut too, which wasn't at home again. That's my mother's recipe that I quickly noted down. I'm taking half kilo mackerel. Usually the ones growing in Kerala is very sour and we use only 3 or 4 for fish curries. But when I had a bite of this, it wasn't that sour, so I'm taking more. Slice it in lengthwise.
into that slitting four grey chillies. Chopping two large tomatoes. Adding around 1 teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon red chilli powder and 1 teaspoon Kashmiri red chilli powder. Rub some curry leaves in your fingers and add. Salt. Now before adding water, squeeze everything very well. Then add 1 or 2 cups of water. Let the tomatoes and hock plum cook well. Now this is raw plantain, making a side dish with this for lunch. Chop off the top and bottom part. If you want, you can peel off the skin little to reduce the thickness or keep it as such. You can chop in any shape or size, the more smaller it cooks faster. Now these plantains, if you remove the green skin totally and slice thinly in a round shape, then you deep fry in coconut oil, it becomes the famous banana chips of Kerala. Shall try showing you all in another video. Slit some green chilies around 3 or 4. Some salt and some water. When the tomatoes are cooked well, add fish pieces, don't mix too much with spatula, cover and cook the fish. By that time grinding some coconut, I'm adding 1.5 cup of grated coconut into a blender. Add 5-6 to six shallots and 1 teaspoon fennel seeds. Add some water and grind to a very smooth mixture. It's done. Add to the fish curry and let it boil. Check salt and add if needed. Meantime, for tempering the curry, slicing 6 or 7 shallots. You will need some curry leaves too. This is all cooked, so keep aside. Heat some coconut oil. When it starts to turn to a light brown shade, add curry leaves. Then add quarter to half teaspoon Kashmiri red chilli powder. This is for a color and even enhances the taste so don't skip it. Mix it for 10 seconds and add to the curry. My mom's fish curry is done. Then for the plantain, heat coconut oil, add some 5 to 6 sliced shallots, some curry leaves and let it saute well. Then add the cooked plantain and mix well. And our simple lunch is ready.
evening time i had boiled some water add it into a bowl then let it cool down completely take each of the fruit that's the hock plum and wipe off the extra water on it with a tissue paper add it into an airtight glass container You will have to add enough salt for this. Then once the boiled water is completely cooled down, add it to the glass jar. Make sure the water is completely cooled down. Adding 3 or 4 tablespoons of vinegar. Now after 2 days you can see the color is changing once it's completely yellow in color it's ready I'm adding some green chilies for a spiciness wash and dry the green chilies there shouldn't be any water on it slit all the green chilies add it into the water You can even add this at the beginning no need to wait for 2 days So that's for today's video. Hope you would try out these recipes and let me know your feedback. For more videos, click the subscribe button and press the bell icon for updates. See you with another one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.